Hey guys, we're off to the cabin for several days of fun and excitement in the snow and uh, whatever else. Um, it's going to be an interesting time. The weather's calling for a real mixed bag. We're getting flurries right now. We're supposed to get uh, freezing rain, I think, tomorrow. Um, uh, it's going to be really cold at times and not so cold at other times. Um, Maybe even a little bit of sunshine in there. I don't know. You, you, you never kind of know, and it's, it's not going to stop us from having a good time, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to do some hiking, some exploring, and just a lot of chilling at the cabin and having a good time. We're going to get a great big fire going in the wood stove, and it's just going to be a dynamite time. I've got a lot of booze, uh, in fact, enough booze to sink a battleship for some reason, um, a ton of food, and Listen, um, usually when I'm at the cabin, I eat like a bachelor, really simple stuff. It's usually because I've had a busy day and I just couldn't be bothered to do anything fancy, but not this time. This time, I'm going all out. You will not believe the meals I am going to prepare at the cabin. You're going to think, how the hell does he do that at, at an off-grid cabin? How can he prepare such fantastic meals? You're going to love it. Um, by the end of this video, you will be drooling on your screen. You will be standing and applauding, and not just because I walk around naked half the time, but because of the awesome food. You will be just delighted. Um, let me introduce you to uh, these two new girls that are with me. I'm gonna do a, a longer video on who they are and how we came to uh, came to be a family together. But for now, I thought maybe just quick in introduction so that you know who you're looking at. This little girl down here, uh, her name is Junebug. She's a six month old uh, Black Lab Coonhound mix. Uh, she's a very lovable dog, very affectionate. She uh, She's the couch dog. She loves to get, get up on the couch and cuddle in your lap and just be really affectionate. And she'll fall asleep. And boy, is she a heavy sleeper. You can, like, when she's asleep, you can pick her up and move her to the other side of the couch and uh, she won't wake up. It's amazing, really. Anyway, very beautiful dog, very loving. The other one, the other girl back here, uh, if you can see her, is, uh, that's Willow. She is a two-year-old, uh, all-black German Shepherd. And, uh, She's not a couch dog, but she is very affectionate and lovable and very beautiful, it's like fiercely beautiful. Um, but anyway, we're gonna have some great times at the cabin together. Some fantastic times. Who's ready? Who's up for it? Yeah? Uh, high fives? High fives? Yeah, high fives, yeah. Okay, we'll see you on the trail. Hello, girls. Is it the moment of truth? Come on. <laughs> there they go. Willow, Willow, don't go too far. Good girl, that a girl. Holy jumping. So they've been really good. They've uh, they've roamed the property just about everywhere. I saw Willow running along the fence over there chasing a squirrel. Um, they've been back and around the house. They've been uh, they were over to see the horses. Willow was right in there with them and, uh, and couldn't find her way out, which is kind of funny. And then for a while, Willow was laying right here in the snow, just chilling. Anyway, we're almost all packed up here. I got a few, just a couple more things to put on. And then, then in we go and I'll we'll see if they follow me or if they want to lead the way or what. I gotta break this up. <laughs> That's a good girl. That's a good girl, Willow. You, you, June bug. Yeah, who's a good doggies? So we're ready to go, and hopefully they will follow me, or at least follow me. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe they'll lead the trail, I don't know. Here's where it gets interesting.
Ah, uh, snow on the panels, of course. The girls have already been around exploring. There you are. What do you think, girls? Look at that. Ah, oh, I even left myself a bit of firewood. That's good, because we got to get this place warmed up. The dogs have been out here for a while. And uh, they're probably really tired and they're going to be cold soon. So we got to bring everything in inside, get a fire rocking, because it's going to take a couple of hours. All right, let's go. Well, let's take a look around. So, everything looks the same way I left it. What a surprise. But that's nice to see. Hello. So let's let's do the nasty here. Don't fall, June bug. Don't fall. All right. So we got. Oh, careful, <laughs> June bug. Uh, in 58.4 volts, out 53.5 volts. 0.2 amps are currently going into the system. We're in bulk mode, as we should be. This, I left turned off this time. Last time, I turned it on, and or it was on. At least it was turned on, but it was off. And uh, what I did was I just, I turned it off and I let it sit for about 15 minutes, turned it on, and it was fine. So I would guess that it went into um, uh, low voltage and then just shut itself down at some point while I wasn't here. Fifty-two point nine. I I don't know when it uh, when the when the power stops going on. Like even now, look at that. It's now snoozing. Which, sure, on a day like this where it's uh, really overcast, um, snowing in fact just just lately, and um, there's snow on the panels. Yeah, we're not going to get much production on that. I should, if I have time, try and get the snow off because. If it gets hit with freezing rain tomorrow, uh, it'll be even harder to get off. So, um, the girls are exploring the place. This one probably wants to do some counter surfing like usual. Oh, look at that! Uh, hey, hey, hey! You're not too, you're not old enough for that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> ah, dogs. All right, let's bring in the stuff, okay? And let's uh, let's see what we've got here for firewood. Um, got some of these sticks. That's good. We can get something going anyway. And that plus what's outside on the on the porch. I should say the deck. Hey, hey, you. Hey, I haven't put the blankets up there yet. So come on. Good girl, hey, good girl. 
so check this out. Last time we were here, okay, this beer case and this pop case I just brought in. Last time we were here, I put some pop and beer in the sink to just leave it here. And I knew better, but the last moment I thought, I'm going to put this on top just in case. I'm glad I did. What a mess that would have made everywhere. I wonder if anything survived. There's like, that's not a whole case of beer. There's just a few in there, but... God. You just do a couple of things and then you can you can chill to your heart content up here, right? Okay. There you go. Good girl. I bet you're tired. Huh? Value Village. Seven bucks. <laughs> you gonna try out all the chairs, are you? You gonna try out all the chairs? Yeah? Okay, off the couch, off the couch, I gotta put this on. Come on, over here. Come here. Go. Oh. Jeez. Try out the new furniture. Uh, no, 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 come on. So here we go, yeah. You got a good spot there? Do you got a good spot? In Willow? It's funny how Willow took the smaller of the two. Although it is wider, so maybe that is the bigger one. June bug. You happy there? Yeah? Waiting for a fire? You waiting for a fire? Yeah, we'll make one shortly. Uh, most important thing. So now this is happening. <laughs> She's out. <laughs> I know you're curious, but it's really dusty. So it's cold. It's 20 after 4. We gotta get a fire going. Why am I cleaning the glass now? Well, there's a couple of good reasons for it. One is simply because I won't get another chance once I get this fire going. Um, the second thing is, very important I find, is, you know, when you're chilling at the cabin, you know, you're relaxing, at the end of the day, having a drink, it's just so beautiful to, to look at the fire and just embrace its warmth and its glow. So, I'd like to have this as clean as possible so that I can see it. And just, just, it's just you just get mesmerized by it. And it's just a wonderful feeling. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a few minutes cleaning this. That doesn't take long, and then I'm gonna get a fire going. Cold, not working very well. <laughs> Gotta get this thing rocking.
So when I was here a couple of weeks ago with my friend Brian, um, we had no firewood on here, no dry firewood. Hey, hey. So, uh, but I had some wet stuff, some poplar and some pine, and came up with this plan. I said, well, the wood is buried under the snow. We'll just dig it out. Hey, yeah, I love you too. And what we do is grab a little stand of pines uh, back along the trail as I was coming in. And uh, so we grabbed a bunch of these larger branches, put them in this box. And what we did was, um, after stucking in, sticking in all the, all the poplar and the pine, no, 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 hot, hot, poplar and the pine, we just stick in these, these, uh, sorry, the poplar and the, uh, the maple that I thought was wet. We, we just stuck in these bigger um, pine branches. And uh, anywhere where the fire seemed to be dying down, we stick in one of the pine branches and it would just flare right up. And we get this thing rocking so hot that it didn't matter what we put in there how, or how wet it was, it dried right out and took right off. So that's my strategy again. I may have to fill up the, the box again. Uh, it's getting kind of low. And, uh, ooh, yeah, really low. And of course, Got very little firewood here, but out there, just on the other side of the ATV, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a there's a pile of poplar uh, buried under the snow, and I just have to dig it out and cut it up. And yeah, I guess I should close the doors, <laughs> close the doors, and probably uh, clean up some of the snow that's coming here because it will melt and it'll make big puddles, but. Uh, I got time. It'll take a couple of hours to uh, to warm this place up at best. We've got uh, minus about minus five Celsius, or minus I don't know what the heck that is uh, Fahrenheit minus seventeen ish. Oh, excuse me, uh, twenty twenty two ish. Read another one. Yep, so we'll get this fire just rocking and uh, then we'll probably think about some dinner because I haven't had any lunch yet. How's that look? Good. Yes. <laughs> you don't want the water. You like the. Oh. June bug. Ah. Oh. Would you prefer snow? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So when that gets to about 40 degrees, or, yeah, about 40 degrees or about 102, let's say, Fahrenheit, um, that's good for uh, showers and doing dishes and stuff like that. Um, obviously, when it gets up to around 80 or 90, you could have tea or whatever, make coffee with it. But uh, that'll take a while to warm up, obviously. That guy is my little temperature on top of the wood stove that kind of gives me an indication of how well it's doing. It's really just mo measuring the temperature over top of the wood stove. When it gets above 100, well, let's say, when it gets between 150 and 200, then I know it's actually warming up the cabin. Between 100 and 150 kind of maintains the temperature. If it gets below 100 or even at 100, um, it's pretty much going to be cooling down in here pretty quick. So that's, that's my gauge that I got to go by. You can kind of already see that this wood is just not... Not burning. It's just not hot enough in here yet. So I gotta use the, the stick method and I'm running low on sticks so I'm gonna have to run up there because I don't want to be short handed before it gets dark.
I left a little bit of water in this thing last time I was here, and I sometimes do that because I don't like to throw it out. What I do is I, I stand it up on its, on its end like this so that the spout doesn't get frozen up with water. Um, so this is still a big chunk of ice in here at the bottom. But I was also able to, to add up water up to the top, and I can still use it. I can put the spout on it and take it back over the sink. I can use it like this because the upper half is water and the water will just come out. But uh, I'll leave it by the fire for a while and see if I can uh, melt some of that ice in there. So I need a little bit more pine, obviously, but um, I've got a lot of stick left. But uh, until the wood soap heats up, you can't close the door all the way. you got to keep it open like an inch. Um, because uh, you need that heat going up the chimney to draw air in. If you if you close it too soon, the fire goes out, which is kind of strange. And you don't want to leave the uh, the cabin with the door open an inch because a log could roll right there. That could be bad. A log could roll right out here. Um, but I think it's pretty good now. It's up closer to 100. So I think it'll keep going. And I, I, I guess definitely need more pine, so maybe I'll do that. So they're like dead tired, but as soon as I get up to leave the cabin, you know, they gotta come with me. So here we are, off to get pine. Go with that for now. So maybe that plus what we got outside will do for, for tonight. Right now I gotta get this thing going. There we go. Not bad, about 120. So not bad. It'll go, you can see a lot of the ice melting off there which is actually pretty cool, but uh, that pine will get it going. Supposed to get freezing rain tonight, so covered her up. No wind though, so that should be fine. I just put some more wood on the fire. It usually cools down just a little bit um, before it takes effect. Is that going to focus? I don't know. It's pretty dark in here. I was going to make, I was really going to try and make dinner uh, before dark, but um, that opportunity has come and gone. Anyway, it's about quarter after six, and uh, it is time for a beer. I think I'm gonna have a lime and lager, and uh, maybe two, and then I will take a look at dinner. Dinner's gonna be good though. We got a steak and mushrooms and orange pepper. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. Have you had a lime and lager? If you have, you all know it's great. If you haven't, you need to try it soon. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your favorite cup, I like this one, it's got these little 
ice thingies in here. They're not real ice. I'm not sure what they are, but you put this in your freezer. It gets really cold. Keeps your drink cold all evening. You're going to take your lime cordial. Now, this is Rose's lime cordial. I've never seen any other brand in Canadian grocery stores. It seems to be Rose's is the only one. This is not lime juice. Do not mistake it for lime juice. Do not put lime juice in your lime and lager. It will taste awful. Then you're going to take your favorite domestic beer. You can use Molson Canadian. You can use a Budweiser, Coors Light, Carling. It doesn't matter. I'm using Laker Honey. Um, you're going to add about that much lime cordial. Um, that is approximately, yeah, it's about a shot. Yeah, a little, little less than a shot. So that's what you're going to do. And then you just add your beer. And uh, your shaken beer from a long ATV ride over a very rough trail in the forest. And let it spew all over the place. Now that's a good hit. Cheers. Mm, that's good. So Junebug was tired and shivering, and so I put this blanket over her. And she uh, hasn't stirred. She's really tired. Willow is also tired. I don't know if you can see her. She's just a big black blob here on my screen. But she's uh, she's ready to be out. If life gets any better than this, I don't want to know about it, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, so it's uh, 6 40 p.m. It's still Monday, of course. And let me just switch the camera around so you can see what I'm looking at here. Here's the pooches. She's out of it, but she's not shivering anymore anyway, which is good. I'm not sure if she was shivering because she was scared or if she was cold. You know, it's a strange environment for her. You know, it's something new. So I don't know uh, what her deal is, but. She's not cold anymore, and that's a nice warm fleece blanket that she's got. Willow here, on the other hand, I think she could survive the snow apocalypse. She was like sleeping in the snow for a while. Look at her now. She can't even keep her eyes open. She knows I'm talking right in front of her. Yeah, very tired. These girls, <laughs> they must have went like three times as far as we went on the ATV, just wandering around. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Anyway, we're having a lime and lager. Take a look at that fire. Not as impressive as I would like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna stir it up a bit. Maybe put some more pine on there. I had to take the pot off the stove. Look at that. It's like 95 Celsius, almost 200 Fahrenheit. And uh, steam coming off that, you know, when it hits 100 and it starts boiling, then, you know, it boils over and you start hearing this, well, it starts splashing on top of the wood stove. I brought my water container back here to continue thawing out. And then uh, sometimes, you know, when I leave, if I've still got some water in the pot, I, I'll just put the lid on it and leave it. And, of course, it's frozen solid, so I brought it over here and put it on. That's my favorite pot. I use that all the time. It's still cold in here. It is not quite five Celsius. I can't tell if you can see that or not. That's yeah, around 40 Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, that's cold. Um, I'm standing here in uh, in my uh, fleece shirt. I've still got my snow pants on. I don't know if you can see that. I've still got my snow pants on. I've still got my my hunting boots on. Uh, uh, which are kind of wet. So I'm actually feeling a little cold now that I've I've stopped doing things. I'm just sitting here drinking beer. Um, so I might uh, put, put something more on. I don't know. Just sitting in front of the fire is, is really nice. It's actually, there's some heat coming off of it now. 
and uh, so it's 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 pretty good. I can't I can't complain. So this is a first. I've prepared Junebug's dinner. A little bit of pedigree and a little bit of hot water. And Junebug is still out of it. Junebug, are you hungry? Willow, on the other hand, is just mowing down. She loves it. <laughs> yes. Junebug. 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 Stir it up just a tiny bit more. Junebug. Junebug. Hey. Junebug. Junebug. Hey. She's out of it. Yeesh. Junebug. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. You're missing dinner. Junebug. <laughs> Junebug. Hey, Junebug. Hey, silly. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, Junebug. <laughs> June bug. Hey, you hungry? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, you gotta move a little bit further here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right over here. There you go, June bug. Right over here. <sighs> that was awesome. I've never seen her, well, when she sleeps, she's pretty out of it, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> well, here's Willow. The lighting is really bad in here, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm, I've got my headlamp on, just to kind of help. And here's my cute little babes. She's like sound asleep. Had her dinner, had her pee, and that's it. The fire is going pretty good, pretty good. We've got some major coals going in there. Some major coals, so it's freaking hot. Like I'm sitting here and I'm just in front of the open door and that's too much, I gotta close it. So, which is good. Sit back here on the chair with the doggos and uh, yeah. That's really nice. So, um, the temperatures come up really freaking slowly. I, I don't know if you can see that. That's about 13 degrees Celsius, about 55 Fahrenheit. And uh, it's not bad in here right now. I'm about to change into my comfy shoes. I'm just warming them up right now. And I'm going to change into my comfy pants. I haven't pulled them out yet. And uh, there they are. Yeah, Guinness. My Guinness comfy pants. I still haven't had dinner yet. And it's like 8 something. 8.47. I'm going to have it now. Um, I was working on my laptop. I was having problems with my laptop. And... Uh, just making sure that the fire was still hot and making sure the girls were okay. So I'm going to make dinner shortly. It's really late for dinner, but what the hell, man? Got to have it. Got to do it. Um, and I'll do that shortly.
there we go. Beauty. Fresh down there somewhere. Good. Let's put these on. The peppers. In fact, we're going to put those midway. We're going to put the mushrooms on. Mushroom caps. Over here somewhere. And these suckers. Well, this sucker. There we go. Six minutes per side, and we're at, uh, oh, fuck, 919. 919. How late is that? Jesus. That's pretty late. It's kind of funny for a moment there. I lost my box of booze, but here it is. Uh, uh, man. I specifically wanted a Caesar. Because who doesn't want a Caesar? Original. You can get like really spicy or whatever. But I like original. It's not too bad. And you can shake it. It's not carbonated. That's the stuff. That's the good stuff. I'm trying to get some light on these things, which is difficult. Um, my steak seems to be getting a little fire. Oh shit, it broke apart. No, oh, it's getting too much fire. I gotta turn this down a bit. Not bad. So what happened was the the grill kept catching fire on um, the steaks, so they came out a little crispy, um, a little more done than usual. This is gonna be delicious. So it's 9.48 and we've got about 13 degrees here, about 57 Fahrenheit. Um, the fire doesn't look too bad, but it is bad. Um, the temperature on top is reading around 100 and that's not what it's going to take to uh, heat this place up. So, I see what I can do. I'm gonna add some pine, pine branches, and uh, maybe I'll grab some maple from the deck, from that box, and uh, um, see what I can do. The doggos are look at that, right out of it. I could just like, you know, oh, oh, some life, some life. Yeah, she's, I'm not sure she actually woke up there. She just... <laughs> and then the other one is also out of it. And it's funny because usually at home, you know, I get up and walk around. She's awake and she's following me. And right now she's out of it. It's been, a, I guess it's been a long, hard day and she's traveled many, many kilometers. Um, when she was exploring, she went really far out. Uh, as an interesting turn of fate, most of the beer that I put in the sink have survived. That's awesome. Oh, that one feels really solid. <laughs> so does that one. It was uh, mostly just this one can of pop, or two cans of pop that exploded. So, uh, yeah, that's not bad.
Oh, that feels... <laughs> Look, if I push it any harder, it's going to explode. Anyway, time to do the dishes. <laughs> My soap is frozen. Okay, not doing dishes just yet. <laughs> Well, I can't do dishes just yet, but I can have another Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this, but this dog just is out. <laughs> it's so nice to have rubber. She's so soft. That's a good dog. She traveled so far today. She was just everywhere. <clears throat> All over the property. Checking things out. Letting the other animals know that she's in the house. Willow's in the house. Nobody's gonna mess with her. Nobody's gonna mess with her. <laughs> well, I've had Something like four beers and two Caesars, and it's time to get into the. Hmm. The line. You cannot have a rum and coke without. Hey guys, have you ever seen an ice cube like that? Um, round, like, round, right? Like, pretty cool. So these things, uh, you can get off Amazon. Um, that's it, you, you pour water up to the line, whatever, and you put this on top, and sometimes a little bit of water comes out the sides, it might come out a little bit at the top, it doesn't matter. Put that on, and you stick it in your freezer, and you get a round ball of ice. That's what happens when a little uh, water comes out the top. It just, just freezes in the top, and whatever. Cool, right? And it wasn't, you know, whatever. It's diet caffeine free. I know, I know. Medical reasons. I gotta stay away from caffeine and sugar and but you know what? You put good rum in there, it's not gonna matter. It doesn't matter what it is. It's gonna taste great. Those ice cubes, by the way, are great for like scotch. If you if you put ice in scotch. Apparently you're not supposed to, but uh, yeah, the round ice cubes melt a lot slower than normal ice cubes, which is kind of cool. So they they last a lot longer. Did I just say that?